Ooh, I got good light back here facing this way. My lighting in here is, well, let's just say I need to replace half the bulbs. Anyway, I wanted to show you something today. I recently took apart a five horsepower motor to salvage the magnet wire, to actually use the magnet wire, not just whack it off and recycle it. So I wanted to show you how much magnet wire is in this particular five horsepower motor. This motor was actually a very old motor. I don't actually know what gauge this is. It looks like uh, probably about, uh, I'm going to say between 16 and 17 by the looks of the other stuff I've seen, had, measured. Now, this is the interesting thing. I've got a scale right here that you can't see. Hold on, let me uh, let me get it uh, zoomed in for you. Whoops, there goes my chair. Alright, so I'm going to lightly set this magnet wire just right on top of here. I've got it zeroed out. Just gonna try to kind of hold it here. It should be right at about 500. If I kind of let it balance, it's about 500. 500 grams. Okay. So that right there is 500 grams. So here's the real question. Oh, wrong way. So here's the real question. How much wire is in this particular five horsepower motor? Let me show you, including this one, see if I can even pick these up, about this much. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. This all came out of one five horsepower motor. Now you might ask me how long it took. It took about an hour a coil, about 12 hours. And that's because I had a little learning curve on how to get this one out. Every motor is a little different. And since this was an old motor, it was built a little different, and uh, the epoxy that is on here actually is very, very good. The magnet wire itself, these bugs are loud, the magnet wire itself is actually very, very good. Um, the epoxy is really, really nice on there. And then the stuff that they baked on there will, will come off fairly easy. And uh, I'm going to run it through my magnet wire straightener cleaner. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'll put these links in the description. If you'd also like to see me and how I actually did such a thing, I have it I have it filmed. I didn't film this one, but I filmed one in the past. And uh, it kind of gives you a brief description. Now I'm going to give you a little hint. This magnet wire is actually so thick that in, instead of trying to pull the little slips out that are inside the core, you can actually grab the magnet wire and pull them cores out with the magnet wire. I only did that on a couple of them, but I should have done that on all of them. Because that's actually what took the most time. Now, unfortunately, I did nick up some of these. Um, there's a few of these that are nicked up really bad to the point where I can't use them. But, that was a learning curve on trying to get this stuff out. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a brief description and brief summary of how much magnet wire you can actually get out of such a such a device. Now I actually have another um, another motor sitting over here in the corner that I'm going to uh, I'm going to be taking apart, and uh, maybe I can film that one. I'm not sure. I'll show you what it looks like. I think it's a three horsepower. It's kind of tucked way over here in the corner, but it'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. See if we can get in here with some light. See the magnet wire tucked away in there? Now a lot of these you can't get apart. They're pretty much to the point where you can't get the epoxy off and it's not worth your effort. But, for the most part, you won't know until you try. And uh, I tried this one and I, I actually almost gave up on it. I really did. I almost gave up on this one and uh, decided that I was going to let her eat and try it anyway. Don't give up. Don't give up.
And I'm glad I didn't because I just gained myself about a hundred and twenty plus dollars of magnet wire. Yeah, it's not perfect. Probably got a few nicks here and there, but most of the time when you wrap a coil, these wires aren't going to touch each other in the exact same spot that you've got one or two, three, maybe four nicks in one of these wires. So I'm, I'm not concerned. You can always check those things with a meter and get a megger and actually run a high voltage across it and see if you have a short. But there you go. Just wanted to share with you guys how much magnet wire you can get out of one 5 horsepower motor. Granted, I've only been able to successfully take about three motors apart. All of the rest of them, I'd say about 15, just couldn't get them apart. But uh, by grabbing the wire and pulling out those sleeves, that'll help you out a lot. Because uh, if you grab the beginning part of the wire, this part here, if you grab the beginning part and you ruin the first two feet of wire, who cares? As long as you can get those cores out of there, it doesn't matter. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. Russ with RWG Research here. Use your resources and check the description. I'll link a page to my website that'll have a bunch of other really good information. And some of you were asking me what kind of solvent I use on these. I saw a guy wrote a comment, maybe two of them, but I know one for sure said if you let these set out in the sun and bake, you might even be able to throw them in your oven, although I wouldn't try it. You'll actually harden the softened uh, sticky tape and you'll, you'll get it off a lot easier. The other thing that I use is a uh, parts cleaner. Uh, usually I'll bring them to work and I'll throw them in the parts cleaner and just let them sit for about three or four days, come back later, and they're pretty much ready to go. They come apart, then you gotta dunk them back in there for another two or three days after you unwrap the tape. It's a little tedious. You might be able to use, um, I don't think I have any, like a mineral spirits or something like that. The enamel on this magnet wire usually unless you have some weird magnet wire, you, you don't have a problem with actually putting chemicals on this stuff. If you're using like an acid, that's a bad idea. Don't use acid. Use some sort of a uh, mineral spirits. Um, I'm not sure what else would work on the, on the tape. Acetone, a few other things possibly. I haven't tried the acetone, but I know the parts cleaner is slow, but it takes, takes the sticky stuff off. Um, but I'd say mineral spirits or something would work better. I do have... Uh, some of this, which I know I've also used in the past, and it does work. But uh, what you really want to try to do is get yourself a five gallon bucket. All right, get a five gallon bucket and take some of that and pour it in there. Make sure it will not eat away the plastic. And then take your coils and dunk them down in there. You only need about this much to get that coil under that uh, solvent and just let it sit for a day or two, and then you can take it off. Um, and then what I normally do is once I actually get this magnet wire unwrapped, I will take like a paper towel and actually grab the wire and just pull down with a paper towel like that a couple times and actually get all the sticky stuff off. It straightens the wire. And then I just, you know, have it straightened out and I usually will hold it like this and just, now I'll show you. Basically I'll take some, uh, I'll take a coil like this. I go down in my basement and I'll just walk around the basement and I'll actually unwrap it like this. I'll tie this onto something and then I'll just start walking and I'll slowly untangle it one little bit at a time like this. Just start walking around, walking around. Uh, you can also do it out in your yard or something, but you can get some grass and stuff in there. But I just walk this whole coil around the, the garage or the lab or the house, the basement, wherever you can find to walk around where nobody's going to bother it and then come back with a spool on a drill, okay, like this, and get just a spool on a piece of all thread or something, and just go real slow and just walk, walk behind where you went, and just walk, 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 wherever you went with the coil. That's what I do to make this, this happen. Um, I'm all tangled up. This actually comes in pairs. This was a parallel, like a bifiler winding. There's two wires. So once I get this all straightened out, I'll have to come back and straighten that out. That's going to be a trick. Anyway, I just really wanted to show you. I was seriously impressed. Um, a lot of work, but I got it. I might use some of this in my pulse motor build-off. This is some pretty heavy gauge. So there you go. Use your resources, guys. Peace and love to you. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye! Oh, by the way... 
Oh, that's some great footage. Doo doo doo. That's right. God bless you guys. Have a good day.